Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all, and I'm sorry for the nasal voice. Ah, uh, yesterday I like drank a very very cold stone cold drink. That is why my nose. Oh my gosh, and I have a little bit of headache. <laughs> well, today we'll be talking about the best Pokemon that are non-XL and non-legendary that we can use in the Open Ultra League. And these Pokemon are going to be uh, good in this season and were good in previous season as well and are going to be cheap to build as well. Well, not cheap exactly. Well, some Pokemon are going to need like 400 candies to evolve, right? <laughs> and these Pokemon are not in directly inside the meta circle, but touches the meta circle by a little bit and can be called like a secondary meta and are still meta. <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So without any further ado, let's start the video here. So obviously we'll not be talking about the obvious metas like uh, for Ralligator, the obvious metas like Machamp or Pangoros here. All right, these are directly in the top like 10, top 15, top fives. We'll not be talking about Verizions, we'll not be talking about uh, these uh, other guys like uh, Weezing and Drapion, they obviously need XL. Right, and we'll not be talking about Skeledurge and things uh, either. They are uh, very much in the meta circle, right? So, let's talk about the usage first. The most number of players are using Drapion or the Shadow Drapion and for Alligator. These two Pokemon are the most common uh, Pokemon in the, I mean, most common pick for the open ultra league and i've been seeing a lot of a lot of drapion unbelievable number of drapions like every time i enter the battlefield drapion is going to be there that was the case for me and also shadow for alligator right and there we go drapion is number 14 right it's got a lot of usage here and it's look at his key losses cabalion talonflame licky licky virizion greninja all of them which drapion can actually somehow beat like against Cabalion, if it has energy advantage and a lot of Aqua Tails, then it's not going to be that bad because it's Poison Sting the fast move and the Steel Typing for Cabalion and uh, like Crunch Charge move and it's Fighting Typing. That is the only uh, difficulty there, right? A look at Talon Flame with Aqua Tails, you can win and obviously Leaky Leaky and Virizion. Like if you have Sludge Bomb, you can do very good against Virizion, right? But Greninja is going to be a little difficult because how spammy the fast moves are going to be. And another best usage is going to be for Alligator. A lot of people are using for Alligator, right? And we all know about how good for Alligator is. Now, I've been seeing Zygarde. I've been seeing a lot of Zygarde. But you know what, guys? Don't worry. I'm I'm your friend. Like, <laughs> I have not yet built complete form Zygarde, and I haven't gathered any like you know, what 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 do we need for that a Zygarde cell cell? Yeah, I have not like hunt cells, and it's so hard. So I think uh, yeah, those are the usage. Uh, people are still using Giratina. People are using a lot of people are using XL Mandibuzz. People are using Gozlord, uh, Glaring Weezing. And Drift Blim and Talon Theme. So all of these Pokemon, we'll be talking about the mods that we can pick to counter these Pokemon. All of these best usage Pokemon like the Fable, right? And Licky Licky, Pangoro, Machamp, Cabalion, Virizion, right? And yep, these guys are the beast in the Ultra League. So yeah, let's uh, we'll talk about it. So the first Pokemon we're going to be talking about is going to be... Greninja. Now look at Greninja, guys. Look at Greninja. Look at Greninja and the Pokemon that it can beat. All our meta. Now it's so showing uh, Swampert and Cresselia. Obviously, it can beat them, but just uh, remove Swampert from the current meta and put a lot of po uh, other Pokemon's like for Alligator, the direct meta. Greninja can beat for Alligator, right? Scalar Durge and Talon Flame, a lot of Scalar Durge and Talon Flames, right? Still people are using Cresselia and a lot of Giratina Altered. Because Giratina Altered is never getting old in Ultra League, right? Obviously being Water and Dark loses to Fighting and Grass like Virizion, the fighter like Balion. And Tentacruel, it's not like it... Tentacruel is a straight win for uh, Greninja, it's not like that for Tentacruel. So Greninja would use those Night Slash, just go for Night Slash and... Uh, it can be a little close, but due to the fast move pressure, Tentacruel has the upper hand and Golisopod and Greninja. Golisopod can actually win, but you can always spam those Hydro Cannons even though they're resisted. And same goes for a Wild Rain. 
and yeah get like look at the mods it can beat uh, let's go back to the rankings here like uh uh where's this is this is top 12 oh okay so for radigator right and just uh, care about that superpower and you're gonna be good with Malamar with those hydro cannons as well obviously it's dark loses to Clefable but if you have a shield and a lot of like throwing those hydro cannons uh, Greninja is a complete beast guys and obviously loses to Pangoro and Machamps and doing good against others like Regirock and Registeel are in the meta as well and talking about Registeel versus Greninja Registeel can win uh, in two shields if both of you uh, both of your opponent and you sh shield twice but if greninja uh, all right so registeel needs energy lead uh energy advantage in order to win against uh, uh greninja in two shields uh, that is the truth <laughs> or else it's gonna be by two shields greninja's game and there we go giratina it can obviously beat giratina steelix a lot of guys are using steelix and mandibuzz as well it has a good hand against mandibuzz as well and dogs norris look at the guys it can beat so yeah it can definitely beat a lot of the guys from the meta so let's move to the uh, next one and another one is going to be Gully Support. I've said it a number of times, like Gully Support can beat a lot of the uh, mods. Now just look at its wins. Everything is metal, just like uh, Greninja, Virizion, Kabalion, Greninja itself, and Skeletors. Wow, what's happening to my throat? <clears throat> and looks like it's not only the nasal voice or the my nose. It's something happening to my throat as well. I hope uh, it's just today. Tomorrow I will be okay. I hope so. Uh, and yeah, uh, Licky Licky, because of that fast move, roll out against the bog, and the Shadow Claw is resisted by Licky Licky. Because of that, it's gonna be a little hard. And yep, uh, Talonflame, if you land the Liquidation, you can win. And yeah, it can beat a lot of the meta, guys. A lot of the meta. Just uh, look at it. Uh, let's go for the uh, top rankings again here. And yeah, there we go. Just a lot of the guys. Pangora and Machamp. Fighters are in the ranks, right? It's bot. For Alligator, it can also beat for Alligator, actually. It can beat for Alligator. And Malamar, the new meta. Like, what's Malamar gonna throw? Side wave? It's bot. Foul play? It's bot. Superpower? It's bot. Greninja can beat Malamar. And it's gonna be neutral against Clip Fable. And gonna be a little difficult against things like Reggie Steel and stuff. But it can beat Steelix, which is which has a lot of usage in this meta. A lot of the guys are like running steelix and it's back in the top 15 so yeah uh, look at cabalion it like loses to gold support if it cannot land that stone age and that's how it goes uh gold support is really good you guys can run it and the only problem is it takes like 400 candies to evolve that's the only problem or else it's gonna be cheap uh greninja is cheap to build this guy's cheap to build so another pokemon is venusaur if you have shadow definitely run shadow you can run shadow now Fairies are in the meta, like Clefable. Venusaur can clearly beat them, right? And Fighters, it's Poison, Pangoro and Machamp. It can beat both of those, right? And it's like neutral against Registeel. Uh, your fast, your fast movement charge move is resisted. So is there. So is there. Registeel's uh, moves are also resisted against, uh, resisted against uh, Venusaur, right? So it can be Regirock. Now, not a lot of people are running Regirock. So obviously we'll lose to the fires. Uh, let's let's directly. Oh, where am I typing, man? Let's go. Uh, let's look at Shadow. It's ranked 76, but it's really good. Look at its wins. Oh my God, Virizion. A lot of guys are using Virizion, so we can run Venusaur. It's gonna be great. Damn. While I'm talking, it's like another guy talking when I when I sound my uh, when I hear my own voice, my nasal voice. When it's gonna be good. And yeah, Licky Licky is kind of neutral, to be honest. It's not like it's showing it loses against Licky Licky, it's not like that. And yeah, it loses to Giratina and Cabalions and obviously Scattered Edge and Talonflame, but it does a lot of good matchups, a lot of good matchups, right? Like, uh, loses to Malamar, the new meta, obviously, because of that fast move only. <laughs> fast move and foul play, right? Sidewave it's running, but yeah, Venusaur can beat a lot of things, man. Uh, there are gonna be people are using gastrodons and people are using you know what a lot of golurks a lot of hippodons a lot of grounds other grounds they are also using don fans 
so venusaur can be an impressive pick amazing pick and you can like do good with the venusaur so another pokemon that we were talking about is going to be ampharos if you have shadow run shadow ampharos right like it's never off meta like while talking uh, about ampharos it can be called direct meta but i haven't seen people openly talking about ampharos that oh this is the meta for ultra league but what i say is it is the meta or the uh ultra league now it's rank 155 definitely it should come very up and people are running talent flame it can be talent flame tentacruel a lot of tentacruels it can be tentacruel it can be greninja it can be glissapod it can also fight back against giratina altered and people are using ghost pidgeots all right and Venusaur also a very very great save swap i mean ampharos sorry what am i telling what am i talking i mean ampharos like yeah this this guy is just like crazy man the, the brutal swing charges much faster now not like before but does slightly less damage and uh if you have like trailblaze it boosts your attack right and it, it has a lot of the, look at the meta for alligator it can't beat for alligator and b because of that brutal swing a lot of ghosts like dust Noir and uh, dust noise and Giratina and mandibuzz a lot of people are using mandibuzz so it's electricity baby <laughs> right so you can beat those guys as well and a lot of neutral matchups like Galarian wheezing trapion it has a good hand against those as well like uh, obviously against mod boys it loses and talent flame it can definitely beat those people are using galarian moltres you guys have seen it right i know it <laughs> and yep against chrysalia as well look at its win a lot of guys are using tabofini and walrein hollywood tentacruel damn it's so good it's gonna be and even runagrigas is part ghost so it's gonna be good against those as well yeah it's, overall it's like beast pokemon to run uh, especially the shadow variant so another one is Dragonite. Again, if you have Shadow, run Shadow. Like there can be a lot of team compositions with Dragonite. Like you can run Dragonite in the lead and uh, weak against Fighting at the back, and you can run Dragonite and strong against Fairy at the back. You can pair it with Registeel. You can pair it with Tentacruel. Anything Dragonite is going to be insane, All right? Look at its ranking. Pretty decent. There, Shadow's got rank 40. Wow. Look at its wins. The meta guys like Virizion, Skeletorgen, Talonflame, and Greninja, right? And yeah, it's got a lot of good neutral matchups. And Shielding Wands, it has a good hand against Giratina Altered as well. And also uh, Tentacruel, but it's going to be a little hard with that fast move pressure against Tentacruel. Now it's got a lot of, like, again, uh, the fighters, Angora and Machamps, you can beat them. Because obviously it's flying right <laughs> yeah this is another very very like interesting pick a very good pick it can beat a lot of lot of things and yep moving on to another mon it's gonna be hit out on the ground you guys have might have seen a lot of guys using hip out on because it's good it's actually good being ground can also beat flyers because of uh sand attack and weather ball the rock variant and it's got the Scar uh, scorching sand rank 52 pretty decent not that bad and yep being ground can beat poisons a lot of poisons drapions tentacruels right a lot of them and also can beat skeletorge and with that weather ball can also beat town flame and cabalion as well now it has to land the scorching sand to win against cabalion and also leaky leaky it can beat giratina altered as well Look at that. Look at its wins. Everything is meta. The new Licky Licky, it can be that and that as well. And this is not like it doesn't need any XLs. Wow. If it needed, it would show here in the bracket or besides the bracket XL. Just like uh, just like this. If you can see all these are all these need XLs. Right? Oh, look at this. The only Pokemon that doesn't require XL uh which spells after H and I. Look at that. Everything else needs XL. But everything else is it Monchi and it Pondi. <laughs> just, just kidding, guys. Jokes apart. Well, yeah, it's 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 a really really good pick. Now it can have a good matchup against a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of neutral matchups against Malamar, Clefable. Gonna be hard, hard against Spiralgator, but Zygarde is neutral, not neutral. Uh, fast move is resisted, 
okay so only neutral uh, uh scorching sand so it's gonna be hard against Zygarde but a lot of usual matchups like Clefable and Malamar right and uh Panguru and uh, yeah it can win Licky Licky it can win uh Cobalion it can win Regirock it can win Registeel look at that look at that look at that guys wow it can win Drapion <laughs> This 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 guy is gonna be good. I'm gonna like run this guy, man. So another one is gonna be Decidui. Decidui. D D D D D D D Decidui. How do you spell that? Decid I. Decidui. All right. A lot of mod boys. I mean ground types, right? So it can beat them. And also has some good hand against Skeledurge. Now PV Poke is showing Skeledurge. It can win, but it's not that the case. With like uh, the fast move, Astonish is gonna do super effective, but their incinerate is gonna do super effective against us as well. And our spirit shackle is gonna do super effective against them, and their shadow ball will like one shot us. So it's gonna be like that case, right? It can be Cresselia and Swampers and all other mod boys and ground types and Cabalion and Verizion, right? So that's gonna be wild. That's 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 good, man. This this guy is good as well. That is a lot of people are using it, and look at its matchups. It's it, it can do good against neutral neutral things like Fable, right? <clears throat> Not gonna be <clears throat> that good against uh, Malamar though. Uh, yeah, it can like it's it's got foul play, so we're ghost on Decidui, so yeah, and it can have good against uh, Regirock, other fighters like Pangora and Machamp, but Night Slash uh, is gonna do super effective against uh, Decidui. And good neutral matchup against the Fable and uh, not not Licky Licky actually Licky Licky can actually beat the CGI and it can beat for Alligator but the fast move pressure is gonna be wild like Shadow Claw against the Ghost right but it's still gonna be a good pick it's gonna be an interesting pick another one is going to be Aurora's now look at look at the number one Pokemon here. It's dragon and ground, right? <laughs> Aurora is just gonna destroy this guy, right? No matter how tanky it is going to be. Aurora has a good hand against the number one Pokemon in the Ultra League. Definitely, it's a good pick for the Ultra League, right? So let's look at its uh, rankings. It's gonna be 22. That's good ranking. Look at that. It can beat Skeletor, Talonflame, Giratina, Liga Licky. Whoa! Everything is better there. <laughs> But obviously it loses against Cabalion, Greninja, and when you use it, try to bring those counters, right? And yeah, this is gonna be another interesting pick. Now let's look at the top rankings here. It's got good matchup against a lot of the neutral matchups against Fable. Watch out for the superpower, and then good against uh, fine against Malamar, not good, and against Registeel and not Regi Rock. I mean not Regi Rock, but not Registeel, right? Definitely gonna lose against Fighters yep and yeah that is it look at that mandibuzz it can beat mandibuzz and yep that's how it's gonna be it is actually a good pick so moving on to another one it's going to be a little mock now the reason i put a little mock in this video is a lot of the guys are running xl mons like drapion right let's let's look at them first like uh let's type what's the spelling of poison pure Wow. Oh yeah. So look at that. Look at that. Look at the other poison dark types. Drapion needs XL. Skontank needs XL, right? Even Dragalge, Skontank, and Glaring Wizzing, uh, but it's fairy. So all these guys need XL. Even Needle Queen, even Tentacruel. Look at that. The only poison that doesn't require XL is going to be a low mock. So this guy is still good so good i've i'm still running it look at its wins Licky Licky, giratina chrysalia skeletorge version and every other like uh, ghost type pokemon it has a good hand against talonflame as well it shows it can win uh it loses against talonflame but it's not the case it is actually neutral right obviously it loses against uh grounds like some swampport and hard against cabalions and greninjas as well but it can do so good against a, a lot of the meta this is a very good and interesting pick. It's gonna be so good. And the rise of fighters and rise of fairies. A little mock. A mock. Right? A mock is gonna do so good. So yeah, let's move on to another one. 
It's going to be Gengar. One of my favorite Pokemon. Like, uh, if you if you ask me, what are your best Pokemon's that Ash have used? And if you ask me to put like top of uh, top six Pokemon of Ash, then uh, Gengar is always going to be in that six, right? The team of six. Gengar, Dragonite, Charizard. These guys are always going to be Pikachu, right? So although Gengar is not legendary, it is a legend. Wow. That is a nice freaks. Although Gengar is not a legendary, it is still a legend. Oh, guys, that's <clears throat> that's so interesting. And now, here we go. Rank 67, pretty decent. Look at its wins, man. Skeletor, Shalvik, Balion, Virizion, all meta. Wow. Obviously, loses against Dark like Greninja, right? And Drapion, and other Shadow Claw users because it's so glassy. And normal types like Leaky Leaky, right? You can also run Focus Blast. Is it Focus Blast or uh, Dynamic Punch? Okay, it's. I think it's Focus Blast. Yeah. So, Shadow Punch is Legacy move, right? So, other than that, it's going to be good, uh, easy to build. Gengar, it's not XL at all. It's got a lot of good wins, man. This, this guy is, this guy is a very good hard hitter, but it is not for everyone. Everyone cannot run glassy mons, right? Uh, you gotta put coverage for those other Shadow Claw users, like for Alligator as well, when you run uh, Gengar. But it's definitely gonna be solid pick and very good pick. And that is it, guys. Those were the top mons, uh, in my opinion, that we can use that are non-XL, non-legendary for the Open Ultra League. And obviously, we didn't talk about the main meta but we talked about the meta that actually touches the circle of meta i hope you understand what i try to say and that is it guys i hope you like the content if you like the content then please leave like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet thank you so much guys